the creators of this game very uh, kindly created both a how to play video and a video about alternate ways to play the game. And so I'm going to show those to you right now and hopefully they will, the audio will play. I think I've got everything set up right. So let's take a look at the official how to play video for Connected Clues. Welcome to Connected Clues. Let's show you how to play. Players will take turns being the clue giver for each round. The youngest player will be the clue giver for the first round. Each card contains an answer made up of two parts that share a word which connects them together. The two parts of this answer are dog food and food fight. The clue giver must come up with a clue that describes both parts separately. The clue given is completely up to the clue giver. However, the clue cannot contain any of the words in the answer. Man's best friend eats this out of a bowl and an incident in the cafeteria that causes a huge mess. Shout out the correct answer as soon as you know it. There are no penalties for wrong answers. Keep going until someone gets the correct answer. Dog food fight. Yeah. The first person to shout the correct answer wins the round and is given the answer card as a reward. The clue giver can judge whether an answer is close enough if it is not an exact match. Since some clues may be more difficult than others, clue givers will provide extra hints until the correct answer is guessed. In rare cases where no one can guess the correct answer after multiple clues, or if the clue giver is unfamiliar with the answer, the round starts over and the clue giver will select another card. The group can decide how many round wins determines the overall game winner, or play for as long as you want. Here is our recommended number of round wins. We hope you enjoy the game with your clever friends. All right, so that was how to play Connected Clues. Now we're going to take a look at the alternate ways to play the game as provided by the publisher. And then I'm going to tell you what even, we're, we're going to add some more twists and tricks along the way today. Um, Y'all are not ready, basically, <laughs> for what's about to happen. But let's take a look at the alternate ways to play Connected Clues. Here are some other ways you can play Connected Clues. Timed. The time style of play allows all guessers a chance to come up with the correct answer. Once the clue is given, all guessers will have the same amount of time to write down one guess on a piece of paper. Use a timer, such as a smartphone, to let guessers know when time is up. We recommend 30 seconds per round, but it's completely up to you. Every player that guesses the correct answer gets a point for the round. The timer play style allows for more inclusion since everyone has ample opportunity to think, and it can stop that one overly competitive friend from dominating the game. Teams. The teams play style is great for couples game night or when you want an us versus them experience. Each team will take turns having one member of the team give clues to the rest of the team. The team will guess as many correct answers as possible within 60 seconds. A card can be passed if your team is stuck. The number of correct answers after 60 seconds is your team's score for the round. Alternate which team plays each round with a different team member as the clue giver. You can end the game based on reaching a certain score or the highest score after an agreed upon number of rounds. Forehead Guesser the forehead guesser play style switches the game from one clue giver and multiple guessers to one guesser and multiple clue givers. Each player will take a turn as the guesser by placing a card on their forehead so that other players can see the answer. Players will shout out clues to the guesser until the guesser comes up with the correct answer. See how many correct answers the guesser can get in 60 seconds. Take turns being the guesser and challenge yourself to get the most correct answers. Let us know your favorite play style, or if you have a different play style that you're enjoying. We hope you enjoy Connected Clues with your clever friends. All right, so now that we've learned how to play Connected Clues and some of the alternate ways to play Connected Clues, we're going to mix it up even further, y'all. Let me catch up on the chat first, and then I'll explain a little bit about how we're doing this today. So I have a number of the cards just pulled out of the box over here that we're going to be using. And for the first clue, I'm just going to give it to y'all normal style. I'm going to describe the two things that are on the card, and whoever can name the full connected phrase first will uh, get a point. And I'm not going to keep track of points, 
for you. So keep track of your own points and then you'll get kudos at the end of the stream from me, depending on how many points you got. It's very official. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna do one round normal and then I'm gonna throw some wrenches into the works. So first person to guess the full connected phrase will get a point. All right, so I'm gonna be describing both halves of the phrase to you all separately, and then you have to put the full connected phrase in the chat. So guessing one half of it doesn't get you any points. You have to guess the full phrase. Okay, this is a sweet, fluffy thing on a stick that you might get at a carnival, and a mobile app game that has been very popular for a really long time that like everybody played at some point and uh nobody like everybody played it uh yes cotton candy crush oh look at you all oh my gosh you are so smart matthew pocos was the first one in and oh my mom is back yay everybody say hi to my mom again <laughs> apparently her phone died but she's back now and that is correct it was Cotton Candy Crush. So, you know what? Everybody who got it right, give yourself a point. Uh, Y'all typed it in basically at the same time. So give yourself a point if you typed in Cotton Candy Crush. And now, now things are going to get interesting. Because I've created a wheel, y'all. I've created a wheel for myself. <laughs> <coughs> because while giving clues the regular way is all well and good and fun, uh, I wanted to make things a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel. Um, and we're going to see what uh, hindrance I will have to deal with for giving you all the next clue. So uh, just so you all are aware before I spin it, the possibilities currently are I have to give the clue while wearing a mouth spreader. I know some people hate these. I can turn away from the camera if they gross you all out, but this is happening. Um, I have to give the clue without using any four letter words. I have to give the clue in Pig Latin, which basically for those of you who are not familiar, Pig Latin, you have to take the first letter of the word and put it at the end of the word with an A next to it, basically. Um, I have to give the clue without using the words the or and. I have to give the clue using charades only, or I have to give the clue without using one letter of the alphabet that you all are going to pick for me. So no words that contain a specific letter at all. And we'll see how that goes, but let's go ahead and just spin the wheel and see what we get for this first one. Uh, hopefully, I don't even know what I'm hoping for. Okay, we got Pig Latin, y'all. So the next clue I'm going to have to give to you all in Pig Latin. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, oh. All right, I have to give this one in Pig Latin. So, uh, iste is ye a oh, rogram pay at they ooh yay, ooh yay, ooh tay, ipe tay, occuments day, on a umpooter k, <laughs> and a uvi may, bout a, uh, Easy lay, I gay. Oh my gosh, Hornets, how did you get that? <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all, I have no idea how Hornets got that, but it is indeed Microsoft Office Space. That is amazing. How you understood my horrible pig Latin is beyond me. Uh, I am super impressed. Hornist, uh, like, you're, you're amazing. Wow. Uh, and hopefully we don't spin pig Latin for the next one, because clearly I'm not very good at it. Uh, like, some of the words I was like, I don't know how to... <laughs> Legends DM, <laughs> congratulating Hornist in pig Latin. All right, y'all, let's spin that wheel again and see what we get for the next one. But don't worry, I'm not going to be giving clues to you all the whole time. You're going to be giving me some clues coming up shortly. So let's spin that wheel and see what I have to do for the next clue. 
Okay, so I cannot use the words the or and uh, in my clue giving this time around. So let me draw a card. No the, no and. Y'all try and keep me honest, okay? I'm gonna try and not cheat. College students go on this after winter style of movement that became popular in streets? Oh my gosh, y'all! <laughs> How are you all so good at this? Oh my gosh, everybody, yes, you're, you're all getting, you're nailing it. It is, in fact, spring break dancing. Uh, spring day break dance counts for sure. Um, and that is part of the rules officially that like you can choose if something is close to allow it. And absolutely, spring break dance counts very much so. Um, so everybody who wrote that down, please give yourself a point. And then let's spin this wheel again and see what I have to do this time. Oh gosh, no four letter words. <laughs> Oh, see, this is a family-friendly stream. We don't use four-letter words around here, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So no four-letter words at all in my clue giving. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, 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 okay. TV program in the 80s. Large, family, wholesome, and convicted person trapped inside residence. <laughs> I think I didn't say anything four letters. Um, oh, uh, no, okay could be two or four. Yay! <laughs> you guys got it! <laughs> awesome! Uh, we've already had a couple of correct guesses in the chat. I'll wait to, hold, to show the clue, um, just in case uh, some people have more of a lag um, and they haven't seen it yet. Um, but I, So I'll give it a couple more seconds. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who is, uh, has a larger lag than the others, but we have already had some correct guesses. It is, in fact, Full House Arrest! Um, good job, everybody. Also, I feel like Full House is pretty well known outside the U.S., but maybe that's a more U.S.-centric question. I think it probably got to other countries in syndication, I would imagine. Um, yes, these, some, so this is a definitely a U.S.-centric game, uh, I would say. Although, the rest of them haven't been too bad so far. I would say most of them have been pretty generic. Joe said, I saw two rounds and I figured out the rules. Awesome. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's, uh, let's spin that wheel one more time, y'all, and see what I have to do this time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to do this via charades. Um, okay, so let's see what I got. Okay, good. There's not a dog behind me. So, um, I feel like I need to stand. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can I, I'll tilt up camera and then I'll stand over here. Yes. Okay. Um,
I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how my horrible charades did that, but it is in fact Ferris Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Although Milk Roller Coaster might be my favorite wrong guess ever. I love it. Well, I don't know what a Milk Roller Coaster is. You were really close, Andrea. I was trying to, like, ride the Ferris wheel around. I, like, sat down and, like, put my restraint over me and then tried to, tried to ride it. <coughs> all right, chat. What do you say you all give me a clue? this time around and let's see so I've got two different impedances for you all I don't have a wheel <laughs> oh also <laughs> I can't breathe <laughs> that was not that <laughs> exerting but I was all nervous all right um so we'll just do this one normal first and then I've got a couple of different impedances for you all for future clues so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my own video so I can't see the card that I'm going to put in front of this camera. That also means I won't be able to tell if it's super well centered, but I kind of can tell where it needs to go. So hopefully you all can see that. Uh, do not type those words into the chat, y'all, because I'll see, I can see the chat, obviously. So you all have to give me clues now to try and get me to guess whatever that is. Oh, my mom remembers the first time I rode a Ferris wheel. That might be the most adorable thing ever. How old was I, Mom? I don't know. All right, we got... <clears throat> we got floral rainbow fighters, hippie movement... Blossom Energy Police. Rhyming hippie slogan. Hippie phrase and kids ninja fighter group. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, Power Rangers. Oh. Flower, Flower Power Rangers. Is that right? Is that right? I, can't, I don't want to look in case I'm wrong, but that's got to be it, right? Flower, Flower Power Rangers? <clears throat> Is that right? Yay! <laughs> okay, let me reveal. Yeah, okay, so it is Flower Power Rangers. Yay! Good job, everybody. All right. <clears throat> all right, you all are going to give me another clue. But this time, all of you are only allowed to type one word at a time. So this is kind of just one style. But I'll say, like, so you can't type, like, a single person can't go word, 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 word to make a sentence, okay? Like, you can't do that, but you have to do clues one word at a time to try and get me to guess the thing. So this might be pretty difficult. Uh, let me cover up and make sure I can't see the video again. You all did amazing. That was super good. All right, here is your next word. Hopefully you can see it. I cannot. So one word clues only, and you all can work together, try and combine stuff if you want, but only one word at a time, y'all. This is just one style. Okay, well, Smash Mouth and All Star, obviously, but what else? Um, Shrek, Champion, Kirk, Orville, wait. No, is it really? Is it All Star Trek? <laughs> Is there a Star Trek clue in here? Is it all Star Trek? <laughs> I can't. No. <laughs> Y'all, I I couldn't have rigged the deck if I tried. What, there's, is it really? It really is all Star Trek. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that it was immediately Smash Mouth. And I was like, okay, well, all Star. Wow, you all are amazing. So good. Clearly, you are so good that I have to make it incredibly difficult for you. Or more like, I have to make it incredibly difficult for me. This next one may be impossible, okay? It may completely be impossible, and if we don't get it, that's okay. But guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn on emoji-only chat, <laughs> and you all have to try and give me clues using emojis only. So... 
I have just activated emote only chat. And you all now have to get me somehow to guess whatever this is using only emotes. Uh, th this should be interesting, <laughs> I'm imagining. Um, some of these, like, some of the words on these cards are very specific, uh, but maybe there will be the perfect emote. Um, or maybe this will be a hot mess. We will find out. I'm pretty excited to see what you all come up with. And you're all probably just sitting there cursing at your keyboards right now. Okay, let's see. Um, that's like a shaving knife, it looks like. Like a barber's shaving knife. And that looks like a glass of milk. <laughs> I just realized I clicked on a thing that's going to almost reveal the video. So I got to, hold on, I got to turn this over here so I can't see it. Okay, I'm good now. Okay, there's a lot of cheese happening. Cheese, cheese, shave, shaved Parmesan. Shim. I love how you all are just like, cheese, stinky cheese. Okay, is, it, is stinky cheese one of the phrases maybe? Um, oh gosh, you won't be able to tell me. If I get it right, put, um, what emote should you use to tell me if I get something right? Uh, I gotta do a generic one that everybody has access to. The, uh, the bisexual pride emote. The bisexual pride is what it's called. It will do that if, if I get something right eventually. But right now all I see is cheese. Um, so, I, I don't, that's not helping me a whole lot. <coughs> oh, I see, I see. So mods can use emojis and emotes. Well, I'd say shoot, use, e use emotes and emojis if you want. I don't care. Um, shave milk, milk, cheese, cheese. Um, Everybody is right now, are you all frantically um, like scrolling through a huge page of emotes and just being frustrated? Because that honestly sounds hilarious to me. Ooh, S Chronic, future man. He's holding up a peace sign. He's wearing a visor. Cheese. I mean, cheese has to be part of it, right? You all, you, a bunch of you put cheese in there. So like, say cheese, uh, stinky cheese, cheese, say cheese. Uh, um, shave, cut, cut the cheese, cut the cheese. Okay, hold on. Cut the cheese is part of it. <clears throat> tea. Is that, is that tea? It looks like it's a rainbow cup of LGBT. Okay, it's pride. So cut the cheese has to be definitely part of it. Cool story, Bob. We have Bob Ross. We have laughing. So like cutting up? No, because that wouldn't fit with some... Um, so, cut, so cut is the middle word probably. So something cut the cheese. Um, what would be before cut? Um, this is actually fascinating. I'm really enjoying this. Um, um, Santa Claus? Ninja Grum. Oh, uh, first time chat. Hello, Balance Bora. We're playing a game right now, and I'm going to guess Santa's not part of your clue. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we have here? A little bottle. Toilet paper. Poop emoji? Okay, but it's not going to be poop, obviously. So what is, what is Andrea trying to tell me with a poop emoji? We got lots of Bob Ross. Bob Ross was a painter. PB peanut butter. Oh, Joe, is that shaving cream? Shaving cream cheese? Shaving cream cheese. 
Is that right? Am I right? Do, do the bisexual emote if I'm right. Uh, I, I, that, that looks like shaving cream because you put the knife and a bottle. Oh my gosh. Does that, Legend CM put some like dancing stuff in there. Am I, am I right? Oh my God. Oh my God. How did I do that? It's like, you guys got me to guess that with emotes and emojis only. Hold on, let me turn off. I'll turn it off so you all can actually talk again. Hold, please. Okay. You guys can chat now again. And holy cow! My goodness, y'all are good. I am super impressed. All right, let's go back to me giving you all some clues. Um, because you all are clearly too good at this. And let's move shaving cream cheese out of the way. That was tricky. Tried so hard to find an ice cream emote. Ah, yeah. Oh, and that, was, that explains the cup of milk from Joe earlier that was like the cream. I get that. Okay, okay, Santa was a clue. Yeah, 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 okay. Beard, no beard. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yes, our, our mods that can, could use emojis helped us out a lot, but I still think that counts. Emojis and emotes, I feel, are great. And I honestly did not expect to get that at all. So I think you all did amazing. So let's spin the wheel and see what uh, hindrance I'm going to have to use for my next clue to you all. No four-letter words again, everyone. Uh, okay, Legend says, I was trying for coffee for cream and then the cheese, but it was a tea emote. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. You still put cream in tea, or you put milk in tea, so like it still kind of works. Um, it was that was a cute emote. I'd never seen that one before. So, all right, I am not allowed to use any four-letter words when I give you the clue this time, y'all. So let's see. Here we go. Driving a car. Thing. Making you break and communication using gestures, not words. <laughs> Yes, Hornus got it too. I will not put the card up just yet in case anyone else, again, has the lag and is still trying to guess. Um, but you all are correct. Yes, Anne got it as well. Awesome job, everybody. The clue, in fact, was stop sign language. So excellent work, everyone. Good job, good job, good job. I think the wheel knows how much some of you probably hate this thing because it has not landed on this one yet. And if you all have never seen me talk with one of those in, you're in for a treat, I just have to say. <coughs> okay, let's spin the wheel and see what our next one is. Okay, I cannot use the words the or and in my next clue. No the, no and. All right. Heavy round object used by Miley Cyrus. Fancy dress worn by debutantes. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, y'all are really on top of that one. It is, in fact, Wrecking Ball Gown. Good job, everybody. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. <clears throat> okay, I have to sing. I have to sing my next clue. And if you all can't tell by the way I'm talking, my voice she is rough right now, so this is going to be interesting. Okay. A cooking device that cooks food very fast. 
plus the thing that a leprechaun wants at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Um, the device that I'm talking about is, yay, okay, good, somebody got it, Amanda got it, Amanda, uh, it, it is, in fact, instant pot of gold. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm laughing at myself so much, but that was, um, that was fun. Let's, uh, let's do another one, shall we? Uh, I hope I don't have to sing this time. And I'm sure you all are probably <laughs> hoping that as well. All right, let's see what we got. Pictionary. All right, I guess I do have to open Microsoft Paint, everybody. Uh, this is going to be fun. And by fun, I mean it's going to be interesting. Let me add Microsoft Paint to my screen real quick so you all can see it. All right, let me grab my next card, and I'm going to try and draw you uh, this clue. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I have an idea, maybe. I'm drawing with a mouse, and you all know that, if you, you know that that's not an easy thing to do, so. Um, let me grab. Okay, so we're going to. Oh man. This is gonna take eight years for me to finish. Um, okay, and then, <laughs> can I make it thicker? How do I make it thicker? Let's do, oh, here we go. Oh, this is like a different tool. That's fine, whatever. Um, I've only, I'm, I'm only drawing the first part so far, so y'all couldn't even guess if you tried, I think. Um, um, and then let's... I fill that in? I don't know. Oh, here. There we go. Okay, so then what's the second part? Oh gosh, okay. Um, okay, hold please. I can do this. Oh, that's really skinny. Um, oh my gosh! Joe Sondo! Joe is the MVP. I literally didn't even draw the second part yet aside from a bowl. And yes, Matthew got it as well. It is, in fact, Oregon Trail Mix. Oh, here, let me hide the paint. <laughs> the horrible paint drawing. Oh my gosh, how did you all get that? You're, oh, Trailblazer. Okay, that would have been good too. Yeah, I, I was just trying to draw Oregon Trail and then like I realized at a certain point, I'm like, if they're gonna get it, they're gonna get it. So then I drew a bowl and somehow you all figured it out. So congrats, that was awesome, good job. All right, I'm gonna give you all another one. Let's see what I have to do to give you this clue. Chat picks a letter. Okay, y'all, so this is, um, so I'm going to not be able to use the letter that you all designate uh, in any of the words in my clue giving. So I don't know, you all form a democracy <laughs> and pick a letter. Y'all, somebody, okay, so Hornus said L. If y'all agree with that, uh, tell him. Uh, Joe says E, Matthew says Q. Matthew, that would be too easy. I think I could avoid Q pretty easily. Um, that's very kind of you though. Okay, so we've got a couple of, oh yeah. Okay, more people are putting L in the chat. 
All right, all right. It looks like you all like Hornist's idea. Oh, man, and you, okay, L is a good one <clears throat> for this in particular. I'm gonna try not to cheat. Y'all call me out if I do, okay? So none of the words I use can have the letter L in them. Game, show, woman, who turns things, residence of president. Good job, everybody. It is, in fact, Vanna White House. <laughs> Yay, you all are so good. All right, do y'all wanna give me a couple more clues? I think it's time. Let's go ahead and let's do the just one style. So you all are gonna try and get me to guess the clue uh, and you can only use one word at a time uh, in your chats. I'm gonna make sure I cover up um, the screen so I cannot see it. And I'm gonna put the card in front of the camera over here, hopefully somewhat kind of centered so you all can see it. Um, but yes, yeah, so you all now can give me clues, uh, one word at a time only, single word clues, uh, work together and hopefully we'll be able to guess this one. Okay, we got taboo, present, unwanted, light, pachyderm. Okay, so elephant. Oh, 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 uh, unwanted present. So a white elephant is, is a thing. Um, game, Chris. Okay, so white elephant, I, I think I've got uh, ign uh, ignored, unmentionable. So something that either ends in white or starts with elephant. It's a house, a location, an issue, taboo, part, a saying, <laughs> problem where place. Okay, okay, hold on, I can do this, I can do this. <clears throat> Within avoidance. Oh, so like Area 51? Obvious. White elephant in the room? Elephant in the room? Is that... Um... <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I honestly wasn't sure. Joe, your word obvious kind of actually like helped quite a bit. I'm sure the rest of it was there if I'd gone back up and looked. But wow, that was hard. You all did such a good job. I love it. White elephant in the room. Pros. All right, do we wanna try another one with emotes and emojis? I think we do. I think, I think we do y'all. Um, so I'm gonna turn on emote only chat. And once again, if I get it right, use that bisexual pride emote to uh, let me know. Um, but we're gonna turn on emotes only right now. And I'm gonna put out, make sure, okay, yes, I have it hidden, I cannot see. <clears throat> this was hard last time when we did emotes only, so good luck, and hopefully y'all can see it. Because <laughs> you can't tell me if you can't. <laughs> <coughs> all right, let's see how good you all are, see how good I am, I suppose. <laughs> well we've got mike and nick murphy uh mike dropping a dang and nick just creepily sl sliding by but i don't uh murphy bed i mean that's uh, you put the murphs down murphy bed and breakfast murphy i, I don't um everybody's just searching for emotes right now i think <laughs> 
Okay, we got some dogs. We got some Murphs, we got some dogs. Oh, we got the, the Murphs again. Um, we got, okay, their dogs' names are Mary and Pippin. <clears throat> we got some wings. All dogs go to heaven. Uh, <laughs> everybody, brothers. Bro brothers? Yeah, everybody keeps putting the Murphs in. Uh, I, I want the Murphs to see this later. I'm sure whatever it is will hopefully crack them up. Number one. Wait, what did I, I there's no way I got it yet. <laughs> I, don't know, I haven't said anything. Did I say something? Wings. Brother-in-law. Brothers. Um... Joe, I can't tell what your emote is. We got a camera. Uh, that's Ripperonis. It's probably a plus sign. A rocket. Um, <laughs> we got two dogs. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure you're super frustrated, but this is hilarious for me. Uh... <laughs> Okay, we got some flying brothers, brothers in arms, brothers, Illuminati, <laughs> a hot dog, hot dog, hot, uh, um, so we got dogs, two, two brothers, Murphs, hot dogs, Somebody named Carl Smiling. Okay, I don't. <laughs> um, football. Man, the wings are important. Okay, y'all, a wing and a prayer. Uh, winging it. Um, van hammer. Bop. Uh, uh hit. Um. Okay, uh, fall guy in jail. Okay, two d dogs and wings. Puppies. Um, wish. Or what, are those lanterns? Are those candles? Three. Oh man. Oh shoot! I clicked on the thing. I don't. I, got, I can't look at my other screen. Hold on. I gotta fix this. Uh, I want to make sure I don't see it. Okay, there we go. I've got it covered up. Um. <laughs> Brother. Brotherly love? Uh, brotherly love. Brother. So wings, though. Wings are important. So what? Flying. Love, the wings. Oh my gosh, y'all. Am I close? Oh, I, you can't tell me. Oh man, um, brothers in arms, Bro brotherly love, love actually, brotherly, um, uh, what would become before brother? Oh, brother, where art thou? <laughs> um, well, don't, don't fret, everyone. This one may be difficult, but as soon as I give up or I get it right, we're going to do another giveaway. So, um, right. The right brothers. Right brothers. Right brothers in arms. Right brotherly love. Right brotherly love. Right brother something. Uh, um... Uh, right brother. Wait, did I get it? What? What? Did I say it? Y'all are putting stuff in the chat that you usually put when I get it right, but I don't want to look yet. Did I? Did I actually get right brotherly love? Right, right brothers in arms. Right, right, uh, right, uh, right brother. Not right yet. Okay, thank you, Nick. <laughs> Am I? I gotta be close though. Right brothers. Brothers. 
two dogs with a number one. Hot dog. All right. Okay, so so Wright Brothers is last. So what would be before Wright? Flank, Frank Frank Lloyd Wright Brothers. Oh, if it's I swear to you. Ah. Wait, is it really? Is Oh my God. How? How did I get that? What? Like, this is the... Ho okay, hold on. I have to turn off emote only chat so you all can talk again. Uh, how? How did you do that? <laughs> no freaking way. I mean, what's funny? The only reason I know who Frank Lloyd Wright is is because when I was in college, I actually did a project for the, um, the Red Cross in Sioux City, Iowa, where I, since I was a writer, I actually wrote up a booklet for them for a charity event. It was called the Red Cross Tour of Homes. And it basically like was a booklet about all of these really cool Frank Lloyd Wright designed houses that were in the area. And so I got to go tour the houses and then I did write ups about them. So like, that's really the only reason that like, I know who Frank Lloyd Wright is. I mean, I probably would have heard of him otherwise, but yeah, you guys kept me. I mean, brothers Murph, Frank Lloyd Wright, Brothers, yeah, but I couldn't tell what the, oh, the tours, oh, you guys are so clever, somebody clipped that, I mean, I know it was long, you probably can't clip it, never mind, I'll have to highlight it later, I'm super impressed, y'all, I think it's time for me to give you all another clue, that means we gotta spin the wheel, <clears throat> Ooh, and Hornets redeemed bunny ears, Okay, we're back to Pig Latin, and apparently I'm going to be s s speaking in Pig Latin with my bunny ears on. I haven't brought out the bunny ears in a while. We got the bunny ears. Okay, so I have to give it in Pig Latin. Last time, y'all struggled with the Pig Latin. <laughs> I mean, more or less, I struggled, which made you all struggle. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can do this. Uh, Arvel may Uber hero say at they Aries K healed Shay us play oftware say Uvye ot gay ale may. <laughs> oh my god how oh, how did you get that like seriously am i like it sounds like gibberish to me when i'm saying it and yet somehow you all knew that i was trying to get you to guess captain america online okay that's that's just spectacular you all too good at this too good i'm super impressed i uh y'all need to come to my game nights because Clearly, you all can read anything I give you and know exactly what I'm talking about, even when I'm speaking really bad pig Latin. Uh, let's spin the wheel again, y'all. Oh, remembering Captain America's name. <clears throat> all right, let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, so my clue has to rhyme. Um, so that should be interesting. Oh, man. So I have to like think about it in advance since I have to rhyme it. Oh, this is a hard one for this, I think. Okay. Multiple times during the pandemic, packages were delayed because of this epidemic where there was a breakdown in shipping and manufacturers were tripping. 
Then, when something happens first, it sometimes causes things that are worst. One thing, oh my God, yes, how? I, y'all, y'all, how? How did you know? How did you know? Supply chain reaction. I am impressed. I don't even, I don't even know why I'm impressed anymore because you all are just that smart. But like, seriously, how, how, how do you know? You know, apparently. It's amazing. All right, let's spin that wheel and see what we got next. I'm so impressed with you all. Oh, and uh, Joe, I just caught that you're one thing. It has to rhyme, so take your time. Oh wait, what do we get? Ooh, board game stuff. Board game stuff. I have to use board games as a reference. Now, I don't know how strict we want to be with this. Okay, okay, okay. I think. <laughs> Shipping and tripping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Food you make in walk and roll. Walk and roll. Plus, oh, no words only show board game components? I don't think I could do that. I'm gonna use words. I, I don't, I, all my board games are in another part of the house, so I don't think I could do that. But I'm gonna say food you make in walk and roll, plus something like Monster Crunch, but I'm trying to think of another board game reference that would work for this one. Um, um, pop o -matic, Monster Crunch, but pop o -matic. Pop o -matic. Um... Um, okay, so, um, clearly this one is harder. <coughs> Let's go back to the first one. Let me see here. Um, if you stole some food from Sushi Go and borrowed a pan from a la carte <clears throat> and then mm, like monster crunch Yeah, it's not sushi. It's not sushi. Um, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. So the middle word is the one, the, the connecting word is the one I got to get you all to guess. And I'm trying to think. Um, I'm sure there's a game that has this thing in it that I don't. I'm not certain of. <clears throat> okay, if the farmers in Agricola, if Agricola was set in Asia, I'm just gonna say that and see what that gets me. Um, <laughs> Uncle Gramps, you're 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 in the right direction. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So, so. Uh, a food you make in the game Walk and Roll, which is about running a Chinese... Okay, okay uh, Hornus, did you just remove the first word there? And you've, you've, you're, you're part of the way there. Okay, so now, uh, Monster Crunch, 
Do y'all know what Monster Crunch is? Do you know that game? Um, but if you think pop, like think, think of uh, Pop-O-Matic. Uh, yay, <laughs> Hornets! Woo woo! Oh yes, Niall Bari got it too, and so did Hi Matthew, and yes, 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 y'all, fried rice crispies. Uh, yes, Nick got it, Nick got it first. I just missed his, um, oh my gosh, y'all. Amazing, so good. That was really hard. I hope I don't get board game clues again because I that one was difficult. I was like, how do I do cereal? And Monster Crunch was the only thing I could think of. But then I was like, how do I do snap, crackle, pop? I couldn't think of a game with snap in it or crackle. So I was like, pop. I was like, pop-o-matic? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's spin the wheel again, y'all, and see what uh, I've got next. Oh, we're back to Pictionary. You knew Monster Crunch was serial themed? Okay, good. Oh, Snap is a card game? Okay, well, I didn't know that, so it would have been cheating if I'd said it, because I wouldn't have known. All right, let's bring paint back onto the screen. Let me clear this. <laughs> okay, this is a little strange, um, but here we go. I don't even know what half of these pins do nowadays. Okay, let's do... Um, Okay, and then... Oh gosh, that doesn't look right at all. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh gosh, how do I make the eraser huge? Um... Oh God, y'all, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> this is, you're, this, uh, the second part is you're not gonna get yet. Um, let me see here. Oh gosh, uh, I'm on the eraser still, brush. Let's go back to this. Oh no, that's the wrong tool. Ooh, let's do this one. Oops, I'm not trying to move that one. I have no idea how you did that. Uh, too good. Too good. All right, let's hide that horrible drawing. And uh, I'm going to let you all give me a clue. Um, and we're going to go back to just one style. So one word clues only. Let me hide so I cannot see the stream. And I'm going to put the card over here in front of the camera. Hopefully you all can see it. Um, one word clues only. Try and get me to guess this. <laughs> oh 
Okay, dwarves, dwarf, winter, apple. Okay, so Snow White. <clears throat> Snow White. We got Snow White. It's gotta be Snow White. Um, Haunted House of Parliament. Because in Canada, they swear up a storm and fight in Parliament. But then I realized this is a US game, so tried to translate. Good job, yeah! <clears throat> okay, so static, silence, static, buzz. White noise. Uh, Snow White noise. That's, that's gotta be it. That one was easier. Snow White noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah? Uh, 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 uh. Am I right? I gotta love the delay. Yay! I got it! Okay, let me uh, pull that back up so I can actually see it over here. Hey, there it is! Woo woo! That one was pretty easy. You all were great. Let's do another with you all. Let's, let's do the one words again. I'm not gonna make y'all do emojis because that one was, was rough last time. Okay, wait, let me hide it before I put the card out. Okay. And here's your next one to give to me. So one word clues only still. Um, um, uh, Lewis, Lewis and Clark, Lew Lewis and Clark Kent. Lewis and Clark Kent. Yay! <laughs> um, we, okay, yes, 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 awesome. <clears throat> Apparently I, uh, all the easy ones were hidden at the bottom of the pile I grabbed out of the box. All right, y'all, I'm going to give you a couple more clues. Let's spin that wheel and see what we get. Oh gosh, I don't want to do Pictionary again. We're spin we're respinning. It's I'm I'm i drawing takes too long. Let's see. Okay, no the or and in my clue this time. No the, no and. Okay. <clears throat> Famous TV show from Seth MacFarland. Restaurant tour and Food Network host with spiky hair. This one all should be pretty easy, I bet. There it is! Woo woo woo! Yeah, everybody knew that one. It is, in fact, Family Guy Fieri, uh, which. You know what? Guy Fieri kind of gets a bad rap from people, but I I know people who have met him in person because I used to work for Caesars Entertainment and he has a lot of restaurants at Caesars Entertainment uh, properties. And so like my coworkers did photo shoots with him and stuff. He is apparently the nicest dude you would ever meet. Like really, really a good guy. Like, like one of the nicest in the business. Um, so like... Don't hate on Guy Fieri. He's good people. I'm just gonna, you know, I've never met him, but I, I know people who have. And uh, he's, he's good people. So anytime somebody's throwing shade at Guy Fieri, you tell him he's good. <clears throat> All right, let's spin that wheel again. We got a giveaway coming up in about four minutes. No four letter words. <clears throat> All right, I cannot use any. We're all going to Flavortown. Woo, woo. <laughs> Okay, 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 no four letter words. Red. Tropical children's drink. Um, loyalty based redemption for frequent visitors. Yay! Yay, everybody's getting it. Woo woo! Hawaiian punch card. Punch card was hard. I wasn't quite sure. Like, is that, is that the right term for the, the loyalty things? Is that a punch card? It is, right? I thought. Uh, Y'all got it, so I must be okay. But yeah, um... Yeah, you all are brilliant. All right, let's spin that wheel. Get a couple more in here. Chat picks a letter. All right, chat, pick a letter for me that I cannot use in my clue giving and try to come to some kind of a consensus. Punch card is also an old computer interface. Ah, okay, ah, for Turing machine stuff. Yeah, 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 I see that. 
All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a couple P's. We got a couple R's. Between P and R, what do y'all want? Uh, a for the last one? I can do A. We, uh, a vowel makes it hard, but I think that would be great. We've got a couple A's. Got a couple S's. Yeah, let's go for A. Um, I think A will make it very difficult, probably. I don't know what's on this card yet, but we're going to find out. Okay, okay. I cannot use the letter A in any of the words I give in my clue. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, before CDs, but, no, I can't say that. Not records. Uh, construction tool for length. Oh my gosh, you got it! <laughs> I barely even got out the second one, and y'all got it. It is cassette tape measure. Awesome work, y'all. And again, a big, huge thank you to our sponsor, Connected Clues, um, for uh, sponsoring this giveaway. Y'all, the peeps at Connected Clues are super nice and they're a really small company. Um, you can buy their games, this game on Amazon, but it's, you know, it's, they sell it on Amazon. It's from a small business. So I know not everybody is keen on Amazon, um, but if you don't win the giveaway and you want a cool gift for your family, this is obviously a very approachable game, easy to gift to someone. Um, and they're looking to spread the word about this game. So please feel free to buy yourself a copy if you do not win. Uh, and thank you so much to the folks at Connected Clues for sponsoring our stream. We really, really appreciate it.